I have to begin this one telling you that this is not a sponsored video because it might look like one. I pay for microblog. And although I plan to publish tutorials in the future about it, this is also not a tutorial. The idea here today is to share uh, with you what microblog is, the main features, and how much value one gets from using it instead of other similar tools. Let's start with the name. Although it's called microblog, you can post long form articles. If you go to my blog, take a look there, you see that all the articles are pretty long. I'll get back to the micro part of the name in a moment. Uh, another interesting feature are bookmarks. You can bookmark pages or posts to read later or to post, to write about them on your blog. And talking about writing about something, there is also a bookshelf. You can keep track of the books you are reading, the ones you finish, the ones you want to read, and also post about them. Did you watch my video about ActivityPub? If you haven't, please go watch it. You'll find the link here and also in the description below. Because the first thing you see when you arrive at Microblog is a timeline. And this is an activity pub compatible timeline. It means that anyone using an activity pub compatible service can follow me, follow anyone that uses a, a microblog, and I can follow anyone from here, from this timeline, from microblog. This is pretty cool. As you can see here, I follow just two people. Both are from the microblog team. I don't use microblog for short posts. I use Mastodon for that. But here's how it works. If you click here on new post and you start typing, hello, this is a test. There, there's a counter 22 of 300 characters. If I post it like this, I'll post uh, a short post, like a tweet. And if I keep writing, if I go past the 300 characters, then microblog will ask me to add a title to this to create a blog post. It's pretty clever. And I can also click here to add a picture. If I post this and go to my blog, here it is. It's just a short post, no title. But below that, you can see long form articles. It's all in the same timeline. And remember, I told you this is ActivityPub compatible. As you can see here, this is Mastodon. I follow myself on Mastodon. And here is the post. If I reply here, hi, publish, and go back to microblog, to my timeline, conversation. There it is. Hello, this is a test. Hi, <laughs> this is pretty cool. But although I could, I don't use microblog for everything. I use it only for long form articles. Uh, you find an article here explaining why I'm using two services, Mastodon and microblog. Okay, let's go back. Okay, I'm gonna delete this. I'll go back to the timeline and remove conversation. I'm gonna also delete this one here. Okay, let's take a quick look at the other features. Uh, below the timeline, the mentions. Uh, everybody that mentioned me, replied to me, every, every mention is here. Here are the bookmarks I told you before. In my case, I only bookmarked uh, posts from other people, but you can also add a URL here to bookmark a website to read it later or to, let's say, embed it to a post on your blog. And below here are all 
the blog and website features. For example, if I go to posts, you see all my posts here. They are all here. If I have too many, I can search for words or move to a list format here. It's easier to, to go through the posts and clicking here, you can import, export. And if you have more than one blog, you see a list here. Again, there are many great tutorials on microblog YouTube channel. You find all the links below. Pages, these are the pages. You can have pages on your, your blog. So if I click here, this is a page, not a post. Uh, below that, we have uploads. This is very clever. If we go back to my blog here, you see my photos. And as you can see here, I have less photos than files. And many of these files are also pictures. So how does this work? Well, first, to see a picture here, you have to post it as uh, a short post or embed the picture in one of your posts. But the picture will only show up in this page if it is a JPEG inside a post or a JPEG that you post it as a short post. If you add a PNG and add that PNG to a post, you won't see it on that list. Oh, and if we click on the picture, you'll see the post related to that picture. So let me show you what I mean. There are two pictures here. This one is the unblurred one, the one I fixed with AI. This is what this post is about, this, this article is about. But as you can see here, if I go back to the pictures, there's only one picture. There are two pictures here, but only one at photos because this one is a JPEG. The other one is a PNG. <laughs> it's pretty cool, right? <laughs> Uh, let's go back to the uploads. Of course, you can upload other formats. We have categories. We go here to the blog and go back to a post and go down here. Here are the categories. Let me show you. Here they are. So this one is artificial intelligence and they are all here. Design, of course, this is a, a, a website, a blog. You should be able to tweak the design, use your own domain. Uh, there are many plugins. I'm getting ahead of myself here, but for example, I'm using a team plugin. I, we can edit the, the CSS for the more geeky of you there, add items to the footer. There's another interesting thing here that I like, save new posts to the internet archive or to your GitHub repository. And here are the plugins. These are the plugins I'm using, but you can click here to look for more plugins. Okay, those are blog and website features, but there are many other interesting things that you can do here. Let's go to account. And the first thing you see here is your profile. Below that, the feed, for those of you who know what a feed is. <laughs> Here we have the activity pub address. Again, if you haven't, go watch my video about this topic. If we click here, I can set a username. This username was set by me. So let's go back here and also a cover. And here you can set how you want to uh, display posts on your timeline. There are other features here. I'll, I'll talk about them in future videos. Let's go to plans because there are even more features. I'm paying for this one here. You can use your own domain name, short or long posts, uh, photo hosting, cross posting. Oh, I didn't show you the cross posting. Oh, I'll, I'll go back to that one. Uh, custom teams and publish uh, from the web or native apps. I may upgrade to this one because of the newsletter. I want to 
uh, reactivate my newsletter, but I want to switch from uh, uh, Substack, so I may switch to I, I may upgrade to this plan here. Uh, bookmark archive and highlights. Remember the bookmarks feature. If you are on the ten dollar per month, you can also highlight the the text uh, when you're reading them and also. Uh, post about those highlights, embed those highlights to your blog posts, podcast hosting, podcast feed. And here you have a family, it's called family, uh, because you can have up to five people uh, working on the same blog. All my replies are here. I can delete any one of them or edit them uh, 24 hours after posting. And remember the bookshelf, here it is. I'm testing it. Uh, I, I don't use it, but as you can see here, I have reading, uh, want to read or finish reading. I can go inside a list and move a book from one from this list to another one, edit this book or remove this book or post about this book. But let's go back to the account menu because I want to show you the cross posting feature. If we click here, I can cross post to all of these online services. So let's say I want to uh, add, automatically add the post I'm posting to microblog to Mastodon. I can do that. I can add it to Medium, LinkedIn, and any of these other services. I think the seagulls are celebrating out there because they also like microblog. <laughs> Sometimes they. <laughs> <laughs> they make me go crazy here. Uh, this was just an overview. I have many specific tutorials about microblog plan for the future. I hope you liked it. If it was helpful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you like what I do here on the channel, please subscribe. It helps a lot. But if you want to help even more, please consider becoming a YouTube member. Thanks for watching. See you soon.